Congratulations! The October Labor Lottery is complete. Your name was pulled. For immediate placement, report to the Ministry of Admission at Greston Border Checkpoint. An apartment will be provided for you and your family in East Greston. Expect a Class 8 dwelling. Glory to our Stotska. Hello guys and welcome to TGN the Game Nerd, the show where I talk about our play games and today we're going to be playing Papers, Please. This is actually a quite a good game. It's about like being a security checkpoint guard, I guess is the best way to describe it. And a lot of stuff happens and I don't want to spoil too much so I'll try not to say anything. I'll just go ahead and show you what the game is like and then you guys will get it as we go along. November 23rd, 1982. So if everything goes according to plan, this should be uploaded on November 23rd, 2022, which is exactly 40 years after this game takes place. Greston Border Checkpoint opens at last. After six long years, can the Ministry of Admission keep us safe? Families to reunite. So every day starts with a newspaper and then we walk to work. That's our little guy up there. And then we have the security guards. This game will basically be cut up into three different screens. This opening part will be just me kind of explaining stuff, so if you want to go ahead and skip that, then there will be timestamps in the description and you can skip to different stuff. <clears throat> Our Stotska Ministry of Admission Official Bulletin. Inspector, welcome to your new position at Creston Border Checkpoint. Stamp passport entry visa and return documents to entrance. Entry is restricted to our Stotskan citizens only. Deny all foreigners. Glory to our Stotska. Pay attention to passport nationality. Then we have our booth. And then we have the newspaper, just in case you want to read that again. And we'll be using that later. But basically, this game is cut up into three screens. This top one shows what's going on outside of our checkpoint. And this basically, we won't need to use this too much except for certain points. Uh... Right over here on the left, we have our booth, which is where people will come in, give us their papers, and then we can take that over here. We also have certain things such as the date and time, which will become very important, wait, and we have the number of entrants we have put in there. It's currently zero. And then right here, we have the audio transcript and the rule book. This is all stuff that we won't need right away, and it'll start introducing it to us later on. Anyways, right over here we have our documents section where you bring over your documents as well as anything you want to look at. And once you look everything over and make sure it's good, then you go ahead and click on this thing, which will open up our stamps and you can either approve them or deny them. That's basically all you need to know about this game. And of course, like I said, it'll explain more stuff to us as we go along. So first of all, to start off the day, you want to click on this little... I forget exactly what it's called. This thing that you use to make sure that a large crowd of people hear you. Our character says next. We can go ahead and open up this. I forget what that's called. Finally, I can return home. Now, an interesting thing about Papers, Please is that some of the characters are predetermined. Like this next person will always be a foreigner. This checkpoint is smaller than I expected. Thanks. And this next guy will also be a foreigner. Waiting in this dang line for eight hours. I hope it was worth it. I'm sorry. Unbelievable. Go to hell. So yeah, but this next person, it's random whether or not they're a foreigner or if they're a citizen. And of course, as things go along, rules will change and you have to pay attention to certain different things. But for now, it's pretty simple. Just if their passport, oh, it was a mistake to open this checkpoint. And then he just leaves. Pretty ominous. And we'll be seeing a bit more of that as we go along later. But after that point, everyone else is randomized as to, you know, whether or not they're a foreigner or a citizen. But if they have a, if their passport is green and has a bird on it, go ahead and approve it, because that means they're from Arstotska. And if it doesn't, then deny them. So typically, whenever I'm playing through this game or replaying through it, I like to see how many people I can get in. 
uh, within the first day. I think my highest one was like 15 or 16 or something like that. It'll be a bit less here because I'm getting used to... Because I haven't used my recording computer much when it comes to using a mouse. And so I'm still getting used to that. But yeah, I'm sorry if uh, at some points my commentary just becomes me reading through everything in their in the people's documents and then denying them or approving them. But that just kind of is what the game is, just stressing out over what's in everyone's documents just to make sure that you don't get fined for not being good at your job. Okay, my high score must have been higher than like 15 or 16 because I can go pretty fast and I'm going quite slow here, so it must have been a bit higher, I guess. Let's see if I could get... No, I can't get one last person in. Our work day is from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., and once it hits 6 p.m., we go to this screen. End of day one. Manage your expenses using the checkboxes below. All of these things over here on the left are collectibles. We'll be, av we'll be able to eventually fill this whole thing up. And then over on the right here, we have the class that our apartment is. We're in class 8, which is the lowest class in the game, I'm pretty sure. And then we have our wife, son, mother-in-law, and uncle. They all live with us here, and right here in the center... We determine how well they're doing by checking run, checking food and heat. Money management is a pretty important thing in this game, considering the fact that later on you'll need you might need to buy stuff depending on what ending you get. And there are many different endings to this game. I think there's like 20. I'll be going for the I'll be going for ending 20, which is basically get through the whole game and do everything correctly. So, right here, I'm going to go ahead and uncheck food, because that's the most expensive one. And the best way to do it, or at least the way that I do it, is that you uncheck one and keep one checked, and then the next day, you have the one that you checked last time unchecked, and check the one that you need, that you unchecked last time. Basically, just start off with food unchecked, and then if your family needs heat, or if they're hungry, then have that thing checked, but have the other thing unchecked. I'm sorry if I'm not very good at, ex at explaining stuff. There's a lot of things that I need to explain in a very short amount of time. November 24th, 1982. Reston checkpoint a success. Entry restrictions to relax. Admit foreigners. So now this is where the game actually starts to get interesting, where we actually have to look at people's documents and see if they're, you know, allowed to get in or not. Analysis upbeat, upbeat, increased trade and co cooperation predicted. Walk to work. November 24th, 1982. I already said that. I'll quit repeating the date over and over again. Inspector, from today, foreigners with a valid passport are permitted to enter. Your booth's inspection hard hardware is now installed. That's the thing over in the corner. Check all passport and passport information carefully in discrepancies. For discrepancies, I mean. Deny any entrant with inconsistent information. Enter inspect mode using... I'll go ahead and explain this stuff. So basically, you have your rule book right here, and let's say for some reason an entrant doesn't have a passport. What you do is you'd inspect this thing and link it to the table, I guess. Now, this doesn't have a correlation right now, but later that, that will have a correla correlation if they do not have the proper papers that they need. And then after that, let's see what's next. Yep, just highlight the two pieces of information. Got that. Okay, basically all you need right now is just the rule book. And so let's go ahead and open this up. This first person, I believe, is always able to be approved. Cause no trouble. There is always a bit of stress whenever it's in between people. Oh, this person has 
an invalid expiration date. This document is expired. What? That is a mistake. I just renewed it. Even though they say they just renewed it, just go ahead and deny them. Because, you know, you need proper papers to actually get through here. Let's see. So, one thing that you might, that you'll want to do is try to memorize the different places, such as the issuing city here, Orvec Venor. I believe that's how you pronounce it. That's the same here. And so, I think this guy's good to go because, you know, expiration date's good and we don't have any other papers to approve any of the other stuff. So, let's go ahead and just approve them. Glory to our stoats. This fourth person. Hurry up. I'm meeting bus soon. This person is always approvable, so just go ahead and give it to them. They're really impatient, but unfortunately we can't deny them from anything. Person number five. Let's see. West Greston. Okay, so here's an, something that... You know, the way that we talk about gender and stuff like that in the modern day is different from when this game was created, and especially when this game takes place. So just forgive this game for saying, like, oh, you don't look like a woman, so you can't be a woman. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and deny them. All right. So these people are always approvable when they give you this card for a certain place. They are always approvable. There's one exception to this, though, but we'll get to that a little bit later. Papers, please. So this person, I'm not sure if that is a place in Oberstan. The day was cut short by a terrorist attack. Your son is sick and needs medicine. Progress is saved at the start of each day. So, sometimes there are events in the game which cause the day to be cut short, like that for example. So now, all of our family is hungry and our son is sick, so we're gonna get medicine and food, but we're gonna go ahead and get rid of heat for now, because we're on a very tight budget. Terrorists strike at Greston, collection agitators at Agitators are suspected. Checkpoint lockdown. More guards, more scrutiny. November 25th, 1982. I didn't accidentally click something, right? Okay. But as you can see, there are now five guards instead of just one, considering there was an attack last time. So hopefully, hopefully YouTube isn't too aggressive when it comes to you know, how I have to mark this as, like, I don't want the, these videos to get age-restricted. Anyways. Inspector, entry for non-citizens is now regulated. All foreigners require a valid entry ticket. Verify information before stamping passport entry visa and returning all documents to the entry. Glory to our Stotska. Then it just has other information. So now, all foreigners require an entry ticket. This person is always approvable. This next person. This is something that might trip you up. Sometimes they don't give all of their... They don't give everything that they need to give. So be sure to ask about something if they're missing it immediately. This person, I believe, is approvable, though. Cause no trouble. And I believe this person is... Yep. When they give you the pink vice card, just go ahead and approve them. Papers, please. Okay, so... This might be... Okay, now that's good. So that's valid. 
and then right gender uh true glorian i believe is in republia but just to make sure yeah that looks about right i'll go ahead and approve you Heard about terrorist attack. You're lucky to have a job still. This person is always approvable. Be safe. They're really nice. Kind of rare in this line of work. Papers, please. Okay, so this is something that can trip me up sometimes. The entry tickets. These are a valid on date, not an expiration date. Meaning that, oh, you're just, oh, wait, no, that's 1984. Meaning that th this is only valid on that date, which sounds obvious, but sometimes my brain is just like, oh, it's an expiration date. Don't know what to say. Denied. So be careful. That might sometimes trip you up. Papers, please. This person, I don't believe Republia, yeah, Republia doesn't have Carista City. I believe that's in the United Federation. I do not know anything about that. We're just going to deny him. There's something you can do with these guys who have fake passports later in the game, but we'll get to that when we get to it. This guy. Papers, please. Okay, here we go. Glory to our Stotska. The greatest country. And he doesn't give us anything. Basic rules. Entrant must have passport. Where's your passport? Passport! Our stuff's go so great, passport not required. Right? Passport is required. Okay, okay, I hear you. I come back again. And he just leaves. Okay, Sunkaido Impor, I believe that's right right date uh this looks correct so i'll approve you oh, what is it not a matching photo okay i messed that one up it was probably super obvious from looking at it uh you're out of date so i guess this gives me a chance to explain penalties get out of here so basically whenever you mess up you get a citation and you just get a warning with no penalty if you get a second citation then this is not valid if you get a second citation then you still don't get a penalty but that's your last warning and every time after that you get plus five credits taken away you need a an entry ticket. Have it here. Okay. That's in date. You're in date. Matching photo, I think. Yeah, okay. St. Mar Marmero Antegria, I believe, is real. But just to be sure... That's spelled right, right? Yeah. Okay, I'll approve you. And you don't need to worry about placing these stamps directly where the stamps are supposed to be. Just anywhere on the passport will do. Uh, so, is this where if the document says? Okay, no, there's nothing I can do about that now. We're just going to deny and move on. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff unlocked later, and so I'm just kind of, early in the game, you're just kind of pointing out stuff, and you can't really do anything about it. Outer Grouse, yeah, that's spelled correctly. That's the thing with fictional, like, towns and cities and stuff like that, especially in a game like this, where you're not really sure if you're spelling it correctly, or even pronouncing it correctly. Saint, that's not the right place. Uh, Kalechia. Right. 
Your passport is false information. Do not understand. Denied. 15 people, not too bad. Once we get later in the game, like, I'll probably only be able to get like 9 or 10 people in before the day ends, but you guys can go without food for another day. November 26th, 1982. Black market activity explodes. Government blames lax immigration controls. Inspector, stricter credential requirements have been instituted. Our Stutzkin citizens must show their ID card. Foreigners must secure and present a valid entry permit. Entry tickets are no longer su sufficient. So if you're from Arstotska, you need an ID card. If you're not, you need an entry permit. A new chapter detailing document features has been added to your rulebook. So eventually, as we continue, more rules will be added to this. And there will be this, en this entire thing will be completely filled up. Check all the information thoroughly. Deny any applicant with discrepant documents. Refer to the audio transcript to correlate entrance statements. So that's a new thing, is that we need the audio transcript out. Because sometimes, because in their documents, it says that they need to do something or they're staying for a certain amount of time. But then they'll say out loud a different thing. This first person can always be approved, though. But yeah, entry permits look like this. Purpose of trip, transit, two days. Transit two days. That is not a proper date, or at least not a valid one. Interrogate, and then deny. So this next person, they'll give their papers. Papers, please. Purpose of your trip. What? I do not know. To visit? Duration of stay? A few days, maybe. They have an old entry ticket. However, as said before, foreigners require an entry permit. You have no entry permit. Entry permit? I have a ticket here. Let me through. We have to deny him, though, and he'll get quite angry about it. Ticket is not enough anymore. Get a permit. Yeah, that, I paid good money for ticket. I try not to swear too much in my videos. It's just not really something I like to do. Transit through the country. Two days, okay. One thing that might get you caught up a little bit later, though, is that sometimes they'll say a, a certain t amount of time that's technically the same but you'll have to like just double check and sometimes they'll say like a few weeks and it'll say a month and then you know it's technically right anyways St. Marmero everything looks good I hope I'm not missing anything blatantly important that's the thing is that sometimes you'll be super thorough and look through every individual detail and then it'll be wrong because like their height is different or something like that what's the purpose of your trip so happy that the border is open. I will visit my son. I have not seen him in six years. Duration of stay, six months. This leads to something unfortunate, though. You cannot enter using an expired document. Please let me pass. My son is waiting. So now, you have a moral, like, choice. Do you let her in, but get a citation... Or do you deny her and not get a citation and properly do your job? So this is completely up to you. I'm a super sappy kind of guy, so I feel bad for these kind of people, so I'm going to let them through. Thank you. And she gives us a token. This is a collectible that you can get where, yeah, invalid ex expiration date. Where, you know how at the end of the day, work... For a year. Yeah, okay. So, everything's right there. So, you know how at the end of the day I mentioned that they have... Whoop, different name. These names do not match. I have multiple names. This introduces fingerprints. You give them this document with their fingerprints. 
and they give it back with her fingerprints. And as you can see, the fingerprints are not same to the one that we have from searching up the name Maria Servant. And also, she has no known alias. There's no record of this name. What are you talking about? And we can go ahead and deny her. But yeah, the tokens is one of the collectibles that you have at the end of the day is what I was trying to say, but I kept cutting myself off. Purpose of trip, transit, two days. Okay. Okay, so this character, this person right here has two separate names. So more of the fingerprinting stuff. And I guess this will... Oh. Okay, you're another person I need to deny. I thought that would give me an, a chance to explain, like, how sometimes the discrepancies can be cleared up. Hey, it's you again. Okay, hello again. Now I have a passport. Our stuff's got best country for sure. And it's clearly... Georgia Costava, 1923. Men. Bestberg, 2013. Cobra Stan, 1234. Okay, okay. Cobra Stan is not a real country. Okay, okay. You have, you know, like passport. I understand. I come back with, again, with better. Ones. Okay. So we've got matching names. So now we have to introduce districts to this. So basically when you go to Arstoska in the regional map, it has different districts. And you need to make sure that the district right up here in the top left corner is matching. So now same weight, same height, same name. I think I already checked that. Same birthday, Orbeck Venor. I believe this is good. So you can go ahead. And we're already pretty close to the end of the day, so you can see how, as we continue, I'm not going to be getting as many people in. Visiting relatives for 60 days. What is this question? Yeah. Okay, I think we just have one hour left in our day, and then, well, of course, in-universe. In game time. Visit. That's not what it says. Six months. So an interesting thing is that... Okay, so now their discrepancy is completely cleared up. So now we don't have to worry about that. Lorndaz Obr Lorndaz Obristan or Obristan. I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce this stuff. Uh, that's all in date. Uh, you know it. I'll let you through. It's the end of the day. Yeah. Cause no trouble. Come on. Okay. Awesome. I don't know why I'm celebrating so much. It's day four. <laughs> Okay, so now it is the end of day four, and we've been going on for a pretty long time now, and so I'll probably end off the video here, because it's been like half an hour now. One thing that I want to do at the end of each video is something that I probably, that I'm not really able to do during, while I'm doing all of that stuff, considering I'm juggling so many other things. But basically, I just want to talk to you guys about the many different endings in this game. Because there are 20 different endings, I believe. And they're all achieved by doing many different things and can be... And some of them can be achieved pretty early. And so I thought that at the end of each video, if there are any endings that you could have gotten at this point, I'd go ahead and mention it. So on day one... Is... You can get ending one on day one, where you go completely bankrupt if you just keep 
giving the wrong letting the wrong people get in then you will eventually run out of money and then be arrested on day number four the day that we just completed if you don't give your family any food or heat at all for four days straight then they will die and you will be arrested but yeah, that's pretty much all of the endings you can get up to this point. And of course, as we continue to go along, we'll get many more. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see in the next episode, we're going to go ahead and continue on to day five. See what other things get introduced and hopefully not run into too much trouble. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.